Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about chores. This is probably one of my uh, most asked questions on my YouTube channel, and you guys see throughout my videos, uh, my kids doing chores, having, having responsibilities, and I get asked all the time about chores. So today, that's what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about uh, age-appropriate chores. So every child is different, situations are different, uh, but in our house, I kind of went through and thought back at different ages, uh, what chores I would give my kids at certain ages. So I'm just gonna go through each age and let you know at what point we started giving our kids uh, certain chores. As soon as our kids can follow instructions really at all, follow directions, we start to give them really simple, really simple chores to do. So that starts when they're one. Of course, very simple instructions they have to follow, but they will do things like throw out their own diaper. So after I've changed them, I'll say, go throw your diaper in the garbage, and they routinely will just go and carry that over to the garbage. They know how to follow that, that very simple instruction. Another great chore for this age is to throw their clothes in the hand so I will change my little toddler and then after I'm done changing them I say okay pick up your clothes and put them into the hamper or into the laundry basket they can also be learning to pick up toys of course very basic I find at one even at two you can't say okay clean up your toys you have to tell them every single every single toy like go pick up your ball okay come put it in the basket Okay, go pick up your car, now put that in the basket, but they can very slowly be learning uh, how to clean up the toys. When my kids are two, really as soon as they're out of a crib and into a toddler bed, they can learn basic skills of how to make their bed, just how to lay their blanket nicely. My two-year-old also um, has a chore of setting the table at breakfast time, so I'll hand him the spoons, and he goes and walks around the table and puts a spoon at everybody's spot, hand him the cups, and so on. When the meal is over, at two, they are old enough to get their dishes and clear them from the table and just put them into the sinks. They can also help a little bit more with laundry. So if I'm starting um, my toddler's load of laundry, I can have him beside me and he will take out each item out of the laundry basket and throw it into the washing machine. At about two, uh, they are really wanting to follow you around and do whatever you're doing. So any, any job, any chore, any household work that you are doing, they can follow along and kind of help you in those little areas often those things that are not really helpful to you so your toddler throwing clothes individually into the washing machine is not helping but it is helpful in that they are busy and they think they're helping so they'll be right beside you helping uh, you with the laundry which in my opinion can be better than them being in another room and causing who knows what <laughs> what um, trouble and what mischief they would get into. When they're right beside you thinking that they are helping, it really keeps them busy. On to age three, of course every, every age kind of builds builds on from the last stage. So at age three, they can be uh, still doing the chores that they were doing at age one and age two, only they are learning more skills and having more responsibilities. A great chore for age three is to put away the utensils. If you have a dishwasher, that is a good three-year-old's job, is to have them take all the utensils out, carry them over to the utensil drawer, and at three, they can easily decipher between spoons and forks and knives and put those utensils away where they belong. Another favorite of mine for age three is on weekends, we do our bathroom cleanup, and my three-year-old can um, go to the cupboard where we have all of our toilet paper and restock the toilet paper um, holders in each of the bathrooms. At three, I'm definitely still folding um, their clean laundry, but they're old enough to be taking that stack of shirts and those folded socks and putting them into the right drawer in their room. They can be starting basic laundry folding, like folding towels and folding cloths, and often they like that job. They feel like it's a big job and their little hands can do it. Also, you can give them a pile of socks and they can be finding those matches. Maybe not folding the socks into pairs at all, but they can be finding the sock matches. On to four years old, 
I would give them the job of clearing and wiping the table after a meal, so not just their own dishes, but clearing the whole table, kind of putting um, the ketchup back in the fridge, the milk back in the fridge, putting all of the used dishes into the sink. A good job for a four-year-old is to wash walls. If you see a wall and it has lots of fingerprints on it, give them a wet cloth, they'll go to town and probably enjoy it. Just scrubbing and scrubbing and getting that wall, um, four-year-old standards, uh, clean. <laughs> We have a um, garbage can under our sink where we keep recycling. So every day we're throwing recycling um, in there. And then every morning my child can take that bin of recycling and just bring it out to the garage and dump it into our big recycling bins. Also at four, I think it's a good age for your child to be able to pick up a whole room. So rather than, you know, at two where they were just putting toys away one at a time, uh, you can say, you need to clean up this room. Uh, they might need a little bit, a few reminders reminders throughout, but they should be able to pick up basic messes and put all the toys into the toy bin. At five, I get my kids to fold their own laundry, um, not me folding it and then putting it away. Uh, I often have them fold their own laundry. It can be time consuming and the folding is not, um, you know, great, but they can fold their own laundry and put it into their drawers. They can also unload the whole dishwasher. Uh, we don't have a dishwasher right now, but I remember um, at about five, my kids would unload the dishwasher after breakfast, get a stool out, put away what they can. If there are things that are too high up, they can just stack those on the counter. They can also vacuum a room. So my five-year-old, every weekend, she vacuums the rug by our back door and she vacuums the mat by our back door. As long as you have a fairly easy vacuum to use, we have a handheld battery-powered um, Dyson. And so it's pretty easy even for little ones to learn how to use. They can also start basic kitchen help around this age, so grating potatoes or peeling potatoes is what I meant to say, uh, peeling carrots, grating cheese. Another favorite of mine at this age is when I um, bring a bag of grapes home, I wash them off, and then my five-year-old can pull all the grapes off and put them into another container. At age six, um, again, we don't have a dishwasher, so we wash and dry all our dishes by hand. And at six, I will give my child the um, responsibility of drying the dishes after a meal and putting those away. They also have the dexterity and the ability to sweep the floor, clean the bathroom mirrors, as well as the bathroom counters. Six years old is also a good age for becoming a meal helper, so not taking over and making a meal, but being a helper. So my seven-year-old, but when he was six, he would make toast for me, so toast the bread and butter it. Uh, he would make basic sandwiches, so just kind of being my meal helper. At age seven, um, I like my kids to be able to do a full load of laundry. So get the laundry detergent, put that in the um, in the washing machine, uh, put all their laundry in there, and then when it's done, I can tell them and they can transfer it to the dryer. They know what settings to put it at. Um, Ours is a little bit trickier because we have a stackable, so it's not quite as simple getting um, laundry into and out of the dryer. They also can be learning to wash the dishes. Now again, your standards have to be really lowered <laughs> for um, being okay with your seven-year-old washing dishes. When my kids are learning how to wash the dishes, it's great if my husband or I are beside them drying dishes so we can kind of be helping them as they go. Oh, you know what, see how this isn't quite clean? wash that again. Okay, rinse this off a little bit better. You can kind of be helping them, but again, you still may have to um, rewash a few dishes when they learn to wash dishes at this age. A seven-year-old can take out the garbages, so that's taking the garbage out of the bin, tying the bag up, and then putting a new bag into the garbage bin. Also, a great job at this age is to send your seven-year-old to, um, to the road to bring in your garbage cans or recycling bins uh, after it's taken. The last age I'm going to talk about is age eight, and age eight by eight, they can have a lot of responsibilities. They might not be doing everything again up to your standards, but they really are able to do a lot of household chores. So at eight, I like them to be able to bake. They might need me um, close by and might need to ask me a few questions, but they should be able to do like basic um, baking muffins or baking cookies. Also simple meals like making breakfast or making lunch. So at eight, I am quite comfortable with them to with them being um, close to the stove or close to the oven so getting on the oven mitts and pulling their 
pan of cookies out of the oven or making grilled cheese on a pan. I'm close by, but I'm comfortable with them using those hot um, appliances at this age. This is a good age to start cleaning the toilets. Again, it's a bit of work teaching them how to do this. It's also a good age for them to start um, putting groceries away. So bringing all the groceries into the house and then knowing where everything belongs in your house, as well as putting groceries away. Um, I like to have my kids around this age start to learn how to divide meat. When we get home from the grocery store with a big package of meat, they can divide that into separate containers to freeze. That is not my favorite job, so I love it when my kids are old enough to um, help out with that. They are also usually old enough to handle um, like getting all their bedding washed, so stripping all the blankets and sheets off of their bed, and then when it's clean, being able to remake their bed sheets, pillowcases, blankets, and all. So that's where my list ends. That is close to all the household jobs. There are some jobs, my oldest is 10 now, um, so he's really doing a lot of the things I mentioned here. He's gotten better at them as he's gotten older, um, but this about is what his jobs are. But that's about what we do for chores for each of our children at those ages. And of course they are building on each other. So as they learn chores, they might be passing on some of those other chores to younger siblings. And of course for you, some of your seven-year-old's chores might be like my five-year-old's or your four-year-old's chores or like my six-year-old's. But these are about the ages I think where these chores are appropriate. Thank you for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed um, hearing what we do. And subscribe if you wanna see more from me and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.